Hello, hello, hello. My name is Fenston, and I'm here to bring you a quick tutorial on changing your boring in-game cursor to a really cool custom cursor. So let's jump right in. As you can see, I'm in-game right now. You can see the default cursor here with the border. It's also about the size of the letter N in single player, just to give you a size reference. And what I want to show you is the cursor I use normally that's uh, bigger and easier to see in-game. So we'll go ahead and exit to desktop. And here on the desktop, I have a file here called custom cursors it's a zip file and i'll provide a link down in the description below for you to download inside of the zip you're going to go ahead and find a bunch of files i have six different custom cursors here also there is the original cursors that come with terraria in case you want to use those and you can also see a preview for the six cursors i did make uh, one through six here correspond to the one through six inside of the folder here what i normally like to use is the number three for my main cursor and i like to use number four for my smart cursor so I'll show you how to use those. Basically what you want to go ahead and do is uh, we'll find number three here and then we're going to go ahead and copy and paste it and then go ahead and rename it. We want to name it to cursor underscore zero with a capital C on cursor. And then we'll do the same for our smart cursor. So we'll grab number four and copy and paste it and we'll name it cursor underscore one. You can choose any of these to make your own cursor custom. What's important is that it is named correctly. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your Tori content folder. This is the folder with your Tori.exe in it. And then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is find the content folder, open that, and go to images, open that, and then finally UI, and then open up in that. And if you scroll down, you actually see where we find cursor underscore zero and cursor underscore one. What we're going to want to go ahead and do is we can back up our old cursor files. So we can just add like dot old or old to the end of the file. I'll do that same for cursor one as well. And then all we have to do is drag our two cursors that we renamed earlier into the UI folder. And then we can open up Terraria and see how it looks. Once we're in game here, uh, you'll notice that the cursor looks a little funny. That's because the outline border is still behind the cursor. And so what we need to do is go ahead and change that in the settings. So we'll go to cursor and then to border color. And then we're going to go ahead and switch the third slider here all the way down. And that'll get rid of that border. So now we have a clean cursor. So next I'll go ahead and jump in the game and show you what it looks like with the smart cursor and to show you that it works. And so you can see I'm in game right now and you can see the smart cursor turning on and off and you can see the actual cursor changing from the cursor number three that I chose earlier to the cursor number four that I chose earlier. And lastly, one last tip, if you notice that my cursor was this magenta color at the start, it's also still magenta. You can still go ahead and change the cursor color to any color you want. So you can change it to green or back to purple or yellow, red blue whatever you want to choose and it'll still change the cursor color which is really nice and that's pretty much it so if you guys have any questions or concerns definitely leave them down in the comments down below if you like this video you can always let me know by hitting the like button also be sure to subscribe to know when future videos will be out and thanks for watching